Hello, I'm so excited to be here today. My name is Kelly Pedgel. I'm with FIDM, the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising, and I'm standing here in one of our pattern drafting rooms on the Los Angeles campus. I'm going to just show you some fun draping. We're going to work with some organza fabric, and really the intent is just for you to see how easy it is to get inspired be able to tell how fabric can perform on a dress form. And for those of you who have fashion programs at your high school, this might be something that you want to take back to your class. So what you see beside me is a creative drape made from cut pieces of fabric. And it's draped together so that I can evaluate how the fabric lays across the dress form, how it performs, and just really to get inspiration. As you begin to drape, your mind gets more and more creative and you can come up with some wonderful ideas. I'm going to be showing you creative draping using one piece of fabric. We're going to be using organza and it is inexpensive, it's easy to use, it has a great hand, it performs well on the dress form, and so I like to use it when I'm demonstrating. It's one piece of fabric, and the beauty of draping without cutting the fabric is that you don't damage anything. You might change your mind. You might decide that's not the best use of the fabric. So if you don't cut it, if you just move the excess out of the way, you can reuse the fabric over and over again. So that's what we'll be doing in this drape. So for our creative draping, all we really need is fabric and some pins. Now, this is a three yard piece of organza. I like to use organza because it's cheap, because it drapes well, and you can have some fun with it. So let's move to the dress form. Students at FIDM will go through a draping class every quarter they're in the fashion design major. They'll do creative draping as well as technical draping for pattern making. And I think I'm going to start right away creating some surface interest on this drape, making it textured. That's one advantage of this organza. And there's no wrong way to do this. As I said, if you don't like how it looks, you can take it out and start all over again. You haven't done anything that's too permanent. It's important when you're draping using your dressmaker pins that you angle the pin downward. You can't stick these straight into the dress form or you will bend them. I like how it's looking so far. I want to make sure you can get a good view of that. I will tell you that the way this is being draped would be very, very difficult to make into a pattern. Generally speaking, if you drape into something that you like and it's this involved, you would want to start a drape with your actual fabric with a underneath shell and literally stitch it as you go so that you can create this garment. This is very couture. So 
Now, because I like asymmetrical, I'm going to head off to the other side with all of my surface interest. But first, let's cover her up. I love old Hollywood, so I tend to drape reminiscent of the 1940s. Right. Again, the beauty of the organza is if it feels like it's too puffy, I can just pin it in tighter to the body. It's now time to finish this off. And what I'm going to do is move the excess fabric up, tighten it, and Let's finish it off with a nice why not? <laughs> there we go. Our short, sassy mini dress reminiscent of the nineteen forties. Thank you so much for joining our workshop today. We would love to invite you to visit us virtually on FIDM.edu. And if you're ever in the Los Angeles area, please visit us in our downtown Los Angeles campus as well. Thank you so much. Have a great day.